My name is Humberto Gallegos. I've been a uh, tenure faculty member since 2011. Uh, I'm also a licensed engineer. Uh, I had a couple of uh, years of experience working for the Corps, uh, a couple of large size private companies and small size. Uh, an alumni from UCI, Colorado State and Cal State LA. Uh, I was hired to uh, spearhead the uh, geospatial program here at East LA College. It was first, um, I guess, founded by our good old friend Vince Moretti. Bless his heart, he passed away a couple years ago. But because of his leadership, his passion, I ended up picking up that, that torch and trying my best to be able to develop the program, recruit folks for this awesome program. So in land surveying, there's a couple of ways you guys can describe it. We do measure distances along this direction, this direction. So we do measure angles in, in the horizontal plane, the vertical plane. But the most important thing, I believe, what land surveyors do is they keep the peace. So whenever ELAC decides to expand, let's say ELAC wants to expand towards the north side of the campus, they just can't do so at, your, at their own will. There's certain property boundary rights that people hold. And so you'll have a land surveyor tell you or tell the administrators is how much room you have available to, to be able to develop and enhance your, your campus in this direction. So they tell you an idea of how much room you have available along your property line. Now there's a difference between the property line and the building footprint. So right now, eventually, where I'm at, we're gonna have the new nursing building get constructed at this site. So the boundary, according to ELAC, they're gonna say, okay, we need so much space for pedestrian walkway traffic or for some of these electric vehicle cars to pass by, but the building itself has only this much space to be constructed on. So there, that's the building footprint. Then there's the property boundary, which goes along the, uh, the sides of the streets. But there's also boundaries here at ELEC, right? We need so much width for a fire truck to get by. So you just can't construct the new nursing building this much in this direction without having a fire truck get by. So we have different type of boundaries. Servers tell you that information. You have this much room in this direction or in this direction. But the most important thing that I found out why this, is, this program is so important is because of the need for licensed surveyors. In California, we have a couple of folks that are registered civil engineers. Those RCEs are disappearing. They're either retiring or they're leaving the planet. Um, so there's a huge need to be able to, to uh, offset the need for more RCEs. We don't call them RCEs anymore. We call them either professional engineers or professional land surveyors. So it's, it's an amazing trade. We need more surveyors. So it's, a, I think, boundary and construction staking, how high buildings can go, how far can, can the, the width of a road can go in this way are, are some of the subject areas that our land surveyors will have to confront when they're learning how to perform some of these skill sets.